so guys in today's video we are going to automate sending multiple emails using our gmail account so i am going to show you how you can do that and we will have our emails and names in an excel sheet so we can also customize the name inside the body of the message that we are sending like we can uh, get hello Ajay hello uh, whatever the name is so we can get the different name every time so today I'm going to show you how we are going to do that first of all I have to uh, close the file okay so I'm going to create a new file here we are going to call this email auto okay so there is our file first of all we are going to import the libraries that we're going to need which are and this SMT clip and SSL so these are the libraries and we need one more called pandas so I'm going to import that as well so first of all we need our emails inside the script so we're gonna use the pandas method called read excel if you have a CSV file then you can use it to uh, read csv there is a method as well so we have an excel file so we are going to use read excel the excel file name is email list.xlsx okay so we will have a data frame here emails first of all we are going to print the data frame to see that we are getting the data that we need okay so you can see we are getting the data here emails and all the names so that's good we can remove this and what we are gonna need now is port so the port we are gonna use is 465 because that's the default and if you don't know what port to use you can simply type here 0 and it will automatically choose the required port that should be used so I'm gonna type 465 here now what we need is context so context we can simply do yes so for context we can simply do ssl dot create default context and now we're gonna create our server which will be um, smt clip dot smtp ssl for this we are going to need the username which is my email through which i am going to send the mails and here okay this is the trickier part because we can't simply just put here our uh, google account password because it will not accept that because google have some authentication measures in place so we can't access a google account simply by entering the uh, account password here so what we need to do now is we have to go to our google account okay so i'm gonna type google google account we have to go to our google account and click on security Okay, so what you have to do is go to app passwords so you have to first verify by entering your password so I will just delete this so you can uh, understand it better so this is the interface that you will see you will have to create a different password I mean uh, that password will be automatically created for you you can type here anything that you want to name this so I am naming it python and this is the password that it has created for us so if we enter this password we will not have any problem in accessing our google account through python so we are simply typing this password here and you will not be able to access this email because I am going to delete this after completing this video so <laughs> you can try if you want 
okay so the next thing that we need here is context so our context is we have specified here okay so that looks good now we okay I messed it up what we have to do here is we have to get all these things these two here okay and what we need here is the domain name which is uh, smtp.gmail.com the other thing that we need here is the port which we have specified here so we'll type the port here okay so that looks good now okay so till this point we would be logged in and what we want to do now is we want to send an email so what we're going to use is server.sendmail and we have to type the email ad we have to type our own email address here and here we have to type the receiver email address okay so I'm gonna send it to one of the emails I have here so this is one of the emails I'll just copy this and paste it here okay so this is the receiver's email and we have to type the message here so for message what we can do is we can uh, specify here a variable called message and we can simply type the message in triple uh, these quotes so this is a good practice because we can use a backslash and we can simply specify the subject here so it will uh, send the message and it will specify the subject as what we are going to type here. So this is the subject we can type this And we also have to type this too. So This is the sorry. This is the receiver's email. I type my own email my other email So we can type at the rate sub do, do, do. Okay, so this is the email and now we can uh, leave a blank line here and we can type our message so our message would be hello there this is a test email okay so i think that's okay we can also uh, enter uh, below this and Okay, so there will be a line break if we simply just press enter here we don't have to type backslash n like this and what we can we can also type other text like this is the second line okay so now we're going to test it and i'm going to run this file okay so the process is finished and now we're gonna check if we received this email okay so we we have sent the mail now we're gonna check if we received the email i think it was this one okay so there it is we have our email let the we're gonna let the list refresh okay so there is our email and you can see hello there this is a test email so everything is working good we have the subject and everything is working so what we want to do here is now we want to send the emails to every single one of them that are available in this excel file so we have this excel file imported now what we want to do is we want to create a for loop and this these all information are going to be the same so these don't need to be in the loop so i'm going to create a loop here for mail in okay so i'm going to call this index for index in range 
length of our data frame which is emails here okay i'm gonna uh, just minimize this and this so we have our data frame i uh, it is gonna get the length and the range will be created i'm gonna create this loop so here it will be our uh, this will send the emails now what we have to specify here is emails and we want to refer to the column with emails in it so its name was i think emails with capital e we have to be careful here and here index so this will change for every email 0 1 2 and it will send to all emails here so now what we want to do is we want to incorporate the name inside the message so we are going to also take this inside our loop here and we have to uh, correct the indentation here because it will not work if we left the indentation like that okay so now what we can do is hello and for example we want the name here so first of all i will convert this into an f string and specify here emails which is our data frame and we want names and we want to specify the index so for every email the only that name will be here that is in front of it i guess this is fine this is a for loop and you don't have to worry the loop will not break here because of the indentation so you don't have to worry i'll just show you in a minute and we also want to print an f stream sent sent to i'm gonna print the name here emails uh, okay we can print emails okay this seems to be a problem and we can specify the index what's the problem here okay so there is a problem here because the color of this is not the same i think okay i get that we have to use a uh, single quotation marks here now it should be fine and this is emails okay so let's test it we have three emails in there and i will show you all three of them if they receive the email and we will also see the status here sent to this email sent to this email sent to this email and the process is finished so now i'm going to show you okay this is the first email it should have another email there it is this is our second second email so you can see hello talaya so the name here is different hello talaya according to this email and we should have a different name for this email we will see it should have the name foze i think yep you can see here hello foze so we can this is how we can uh, customize the text and i can show you my email too the one that i received there it is this is my name so this is how you can uh, customize the name and many other things that you want i guess that's it for this video you can uh, send as many mails as you want so thank you